Okay, let's have a, an advanced Pilates class. Take a wide stance, breathe in and your arms travel up. Exhale, the wrists float down. We'll do this again. Breathing up, energy out your fingers. And this time we'll hold it at the top. Cross it up, arms come down and through and cross your ankles. We're in the whole brain posture so that you can pull from your muscle and cerebral memory what we need for today. So this is a lesson that you can pull out and uh, when you feel like give, getting a nice Pilates workout and you can't come to class. With that, let's uncross. Lock it in there. Look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it and move around just a little bit. Then step to the very back of your mat. Your feet are separated just under the hips. Breathe. As you exhale, drop your chin. Walk down your legs onto the mat toward the front of it and into the down face dog, where you have all 10 toes equally on the floor. Breathe in and as you exhale, let's start to press back into your hips and heels, feeling that nice length in the backs of your legs. You'll breathe here as you exhale, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, the palms move under the shoulders, the knees under your hips. Without moving your spine, let's inhale, scoop your belly up a little. Then let it drop. Inhale, scoop the belly. Exhale, let it drop. Adding on, scoop your belly, draw in your pelvic floor, and hold those two. Exhale, feel them deepen. Hold as you inhale, as you exhale, deepen again. Tuck the pelvis a little, hold. Breathe here as you exhale, round up fully into the cat, and look at your navel. As you hold and breathe, you get a strong stretch up and down the spine. Let's let this drop slowly into the old cow, softening your elbows a little and looking up. Then scoop the belly, up you go, into the cat again, breathe in. Then let it drop into the old cow and look up. Come back to the middle, those palms move forward one step. The torso goes forward as you breathe and exhale, press back. Let's do this again, inhale forward, and exhale back. As you move forward, the sit bones come together. You move back, they wide apart. We'll do one more articulation in your sacroiliac joint. Come back to the middle. Your palms move under your shoulders. Close your eyes, scoop your belly, breathe. As you exhale, lift your right hand and left knee. Slowly extend this set out and up to shoulder and hip height. You're breathing, feeling your stabilizers activate. Slowly put this set back down, eyes still closed, and do the other side, inhale. As you exhale, left arm, right leg, out they go to shoulder and hip height, breathing. And as you exhale, let's put this set back down, down you go. Open your eyes, inhale. As you exhale, pinch your right waist, look over your shoulder, see if you can see your hip. Let's take this through the middle to the left, look left. Through the middle to your right, looking right. Feet and fingers pivot right, breathe. And exhale, let's round up into the cat. As you hold and breathe, you get a strong stretch up and down your left side. Drop this to a neutral, through the middle. Hips head, feet, fingers to the left. Scoop, round up into the cat on this side. Breathing, feel the stretch on your right. Drop this to a neutral, come back to the middle. Sit on either hip, your feet come forward. With the heels down at the end of the mat. Hold behind your legs and breathe long through your spine. As you exhale, drop your chin. Scoop and tuck your pelvis and roll back. Each vertebra goes down in a long, steady sequence all the way to your head. Stretch the arms out over your head and breathe. Retrace your arms. Your head comes up, looks at its knees. Hold behind the legs and pull yourself up. Up, bend the knees, go wide, and bring the chest forward, breathing wide across your back. Stay curved, and we'll take it back down again, rolling over the sits bones onto your sacrum. Each vertebra drops to your head. Stretch the arms out over your head, breathing. Then retrace, up you go again, head, shoulders, hold behind the thighs, pull yourself up, up, knees wide, breathe wide across your back.
Stack it up to a flat back. Hold behind the legs and hinge like a door. Inhale. As you exhale, scoop and tuck the pelvis and chin and take this all the way to the floor. Stretch the arms and legs out this time. Breathe into a full body stretch. And then bring your arms to your sides and move both feet in towards your glutes. Let's check in with bony landmarks that make up your neutral spine. All 10 toes, the bottoms of your feet flat and weighted. You feel your sacrum bone triangular and heavy. The lumbar curves, mid-back to the backs of the shoulders on the floor. The back of your neck curves and the back of the head is on. Your neutral spine. Squeeze between your shoulders and your rhomboids. The backs of the shoulders press down. Triceps, elbows, forearms, and palms press down. Breathe here as you exhale from rhomboid to palm. Super engage, press into the floor, and it lifts your ribs and spine a little. So you're breathing, feeling the strength of your platform arms. Then release everything back into neutral for contrast. Stay in neutral, come into your core. Scoop the belly, subtle core. Ribs close as you exhale. Your lats connect. Breathe here as you exhale, stabilize your core in neutral. Then press down, down into your arms. This time, you're holding true and stable in your core, feeling the arms work against your core. Breathe in, and as you exhale, release it all for contrast. Stay in neutral and refresh your core. Scoop subtle core. Ribs close and lats connect. Breathe in, let's put some soft, heavy arms up toward the ceiling, motivating from behind and between your shoulders. Over the head they go. Keep your ribs closed, belly scooped, arms come to rest about 30 centimeters over the floor. So you're breathing, feeling the weight of your arms behind your shoulders and in your abs. Breathe again as you exhale, stabilize first, and then use rhomboids, triceps, serratus. Move the arms up toward the ceiling again, and then retrace them to your sides. Elbows are kicked out to the sides, your wrists are soft, and down they go. When they're down, refresh your core. Exhale, stabilize it, and slowly float your right bent knee up. You're holding at the top, breathing. As you exhale, stable, let's take your right heel down, down, and put it on the mat. Glide the heel out, inhale. Exhale, slide it back, and slowly take it to the top. Hold there, breathe as you exhale, stable. Left knee floats up to meet the right, feeling the weight of your leg and your abs. Hold it at the top, inhale. Exhale, stable. Left heel down, down. Put it on the mat. Glide out and slide back and slowly to the top. And we'll go for both, inhale. As you exhale, stabilize and down, down they both go. Feeling that work really deep in the abs, glide them out. Slide back and slowly to the top you go. Cut beneath your knees, pull them wide and down and rock and roll side to side. The legs come together, they go long to the ceiling for the footwork. Breathe into your core as you exhale, drop your legs to their working level. The head peels up or leave it down. Arms up, let's go. You'll bend and extend. Exhale, inhale. You're squeezing both ways, take it down and up. Two more, like this, last time, Pilates V, keep going, zoop, through your inner thighs right there, your upper abs, keep your head up, shoulders down and back. Two more, like this, now pull in towards your chest, bend, extend, exhale, inhale, you're squeezing both ways, take it in and out. Two more, like this, and last time, hold it out there and click your heels together like a grasshopper, you're squeezing, click, 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 and click, click. Demi point, shang shang. You'll change at your inner balance. Change, 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 and change. Feet together, head down, knees wide, rock and roll side to side. Legs together, long to the ceiling in a Pilates V, diamond shape here, softly bent out to the sides. Inhale. As you exhale, legs to their working level, head peels up, shoulders down and back. Let's go for the 100s. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, two, three, four, and five. Shoulders squeeze down and back. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Breathe in and breathe out, two, 
three, four, and five. Check your scoop ribs lats here. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Soften your knees more if you need to. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Breathe in and breathe out. Two, three, four, and five. Check your scoop ribs lats again. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Two more sets to go. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Last set. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Head down, knees wide. Rock and roll side to side. If you know you need to uh, work up and down from a prop instead of the floor, please sit up, put one behind you, a ball or a cushion, or start from the mat. Roll up, roll down. You're in Pilates V, fingers point to the ceiling. Check your core. Breathe and float your head up. As you exhale, abs kick in to get you cleanly up from the floor. Keep your spine curved as you reach out over the legs. Arms are at shoulder height. Flex your feet. Breathe. Keep scooping. Demi point your toes. Keep your spine curved as you roll back to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Widen the hands out. Keep the work in your abs and out of your pecs all the way to your head. Do it again. Head comes up, inhale, exhale, abs kick in, squeezing those inner thighs together. Flex your feet, breathing and getting a good stretch here. Demi point your toes, curve the spine back down to the mat, rolling the shoulders down and back. Feels like you're tucking your pelvis to get safe from lumbar, mid back, shoulders and head to the floor. Head comes up, inhale. As you exhale, fingers point halfway up the wall as you lift, but not higher. Stretch forward, breathing, flexing. Demi point, fingers aim halfway up the wall. Drop your shoulders down and back, keep the arms wide. And take this to the mat again, adding a little weight and length to your torso. Let's add more. Inhale, the head comes up. Fingers point to the top of the wall as you lift, but don't throw the arms up any higher. And then stretch forward, breathing and flexing. Get a good stretch here. Demi point. Fingers point to the top of the wall. Shoulders down and back, arms wide. Each vertebra goes down, controlling with your abs to your head. We'll do one more. Head comes up, fingers point straight to the ceiling and lift, but don't throw those arms up any higher. And then stretch forward, flexing and breathing. Demi point, ears and biceps on about the same plane as you take each vertebra down again. Adding a lot of weight and length onto your torso. Stay with your core all the way to your head. Bring your arms to your sides. Move the legs up toward the ceiling in a Pilates V for the roll over with or without a prop under your sacrum bone. Breathe in as you exhale, scoop, pelvic floor, tuck the pelvis. Press into your arms to peel your spine up and over. Separate your feet, flex them, inhale, and let's slowly take this down again. Feeling the backs of the shoulders support the weight of your torso and legs. A lot of arm work here. And when you're down, Pilates V. Again, scoop pelvic floor starts it, press into your arms to launch the legs, over your head, separate, flex, breathe, and slowly take this down again. Each vertebra, belly scoot, getting a stretch in the legs. Pilates V at the bottom. Scoop pelvic floor, press into your arms, over you go, separate, flex, inhale, and slowly take it down again. Shoulders on the floor, shake your head a couple of times to keep the work out of the neck. Keep your feet separated, flexed, and breathe. Scoop, pelvic floor, tuck, press into your arms to launch. Pilates V over your head, breathe, and let's slowly take this down, down. We've changed the stretch a little, it's more lateral. And then one more time, separate, flex, inhale, scoop, tuck, press, and launch. Pilates V, breathe, and slowly we'll take this down, and down, and down you go. Right leg stays up, left leg floats to the floor for single leg circles. Check all your connections, move the ball if it's there, and let's go. Across, down, around, outside, and up. Breathing, exhaling, outside to the top. The work seems to travel around your abs here and up. A little internal rotation, external rotation to the top. One more this way. 
Now reverse it to the outside, sweep way across and up. Ribs close, belly scoop, sacrum bone never moves. You're breathing, exhaling to the top. Let's do a couple of more like this and up last time. And pull that right knee in. Left leg up, right leg down. Check your connections and go. Across, down, around, outside, and up. Ribs closed, belly scoops. Take it outside, up. Remembering hip rotations both ways to the top. The work seems to travel around your abs here. Up, we'll do one more. This way, now reverse. To the outside, sweep way across and up. A little outside and big inside to the top. Your sacrum bone never moves. That's core and arms at work. Let's do a couple of more. Cross and up last time. Take it across to the top. Pull your knee in, pull both knees in. Fingers behind the knees, the head comes up. Use momentum to rock up to balance for rolling like a ball. Shoulders down and back, elbows low and tight, eye on the navel, scoop it and let's go. Breathe back, exhale to balance. Breathe back to between the shoulders, cleanly up again. Inhale, back rolling in this structure to the top. And one more like this, scoop, scoop tighter, exhale up. And hug your knees in, shoulders stay down, look at your navel and go again. Breathe back, exhale to balance. Spine stays curved both ways, shoulders stay down. Inhale, rock, exhale, roll it up one more time. Scoop, scoop tighter to come up. Plant your left foot and cup your right knee. Go long through your spine. Breathe as you exhale. Let's drop it into position for the ab five. It can be up or down. You decide. Touch your right heel. Let's go. Pull twice as you sniff. Switch legs. Blow. Blow. Switch. Pull. And deepen. And ha. Ha. Eyes on your thighs. Shoulders down and back. Upper abs. Keep your head up as you pull twice. And sniff. Sniff and blow, blow. We feel biceps and triceps pulling on the leg here. Breathing twice and exhaling twice. One more each way. And then both knees fold in, touch the sides of your feet or shins. Extend all four to a working level and pull right back in. Out you go and pull in parallel. Armpits to hips, ribs close both ways. Torso and head never move both ways. Scoop tight. And pull in with your abs. Inhale, exhale, pull in. Two more like this. And pull. Last time, pull and hold. Cradle your head in your hands. Left leg diagonal, right knee bends, breathe. As you exhale, look at the ceiling as you lift. And then crisscross to your right. Head leg center, lift, crisscross left. Inhale, center, up you go to your right. And breathing, center, lift, crisscross left. Elbows stay wide, head is heavy in your hands to the right. And center, lift, crisscross left. You feel the pinch in the right waist here. And then pinch in the left waist there. Breathing heavy is still, uh, head is still heavy in your hands and arms. No work in the neck to your left. We'll do one more each way, crisscross right, and send your crisscross left. Put your head down. Refresh your core, breathe as you exhale, float it up, or you can leave it down if you want to for number four. Let's go. Pull twice as you sniff, switch legs, blow, blow, switch, pull, and deepen, and ha, ha. The leg floats to the fingers, the movements are clean as you pull twice, and pull, Again, now flex through your feet. Take a walk on the ceiling. Pull and deepen and ha, ha. A couple of more each way like this. Ha, ha, last set. Both legs float up. Make a long diamond out of them. Cradle your head in your hands. Lift and look at the ceiling. And drop your diamond legs down, down, and hold. Exhale slow, steady, easy to the top. Let's do it again. Draw on your pelvic floor. Close your ribs. Scoop tight. Pause. Exhale up, up, and to the top. Breathing down, you feel the low abs deal with the weight of your legs. Pause. Exhale slow, steady, one leg at a time if you need to. And we'll do one more. Upper abs dealing with the weight of your head. And up you go to the top. 
Head goes down, knees go wide, rock and roll side to side. Let's bring the legs together. They go long to the ceiling, touch behind them, head up. Work yourself up to seated for the spine stretch. Move curves out of the way. You'll go long through your spine and your core. Float your arms forward. Breathe in. As you exhale, drop your chin. Scoop your belly to roll back to the back of the sits bones and hold. From the back of the waist through to the fingers, reach forward, flex your feet. Breathe, get your stretches. Demi point your toes. Move your torso forward so you feel dead center of the sits bones. And then stack it up, one vertebra at a time to perpendicular, shoulders, and finally your head. Do it again. Drop your chin. Scoop and tuck, roll back as you flex the feet and really give it a good stretch here from the back of your waist through to the fingers. Demi point, the whole spine moves forward a little and then stack on a stable pelvis. Here comes your lumbar, your mid back, shoulders and head. One more, chin down. Scoop, tuck, roll back a little ways, hold and reach forward. Give it a good stretch here, legs too. Demi point, spine forward a little, and then stack it up. Grow the spine, one vertebra at a time, shoulders, and head, arms down. Feed your right knee into your right palm, left knee into your left palm. Shoulders down and back, elbows in low and tight. Look at your navel and scoop it. Stretch your right leg up and bend it, left leg up and bend. Hold the right one up, the left one up. Let's go. Open leg, rocker back, and up to balance you go. Breathe back here, shoulders stay down, and roll it up. Inhale, spine stays curved both ways up. And one more like this, to the top and hold. Reach out, touch your calves, drop your shoulders and go. Breathe back. Exhale up to balance. Inhale here, and exhale, scoop tight up. Inhale, rock. Exhale, roll it up. We'll do one more. Breathe back. Exhale up and hold. Bring your feet together, breathe. And as you exhale, walk down the backs of your legs and into the corkscrew. You know, we'll add a corkscrew three. If you don't want to do that one, you just do the one with the hiccup again. Put a, a cushion under your pelvis if you need it. You're in Pilates V, let's go. Make a little circle to your right, down and around, not too low, to the left and up, reverse. Inhale to the left, exhale down and around and up. Breathing right, you feel this work travel around your abs if you're in your core and up. Inhale to the left, exhale down and around and let's add a hiccup. To your right, through the middle low, Stop at the top, add a little hiccup, and down. Inhale left. Remember, it's arm work. The shoulders stay on the floor as you pick up and down. Inhale to your right. Feel this work traveling around your abs again. To the top, add a hiccup. And inhale to your left. Exhale down and around. To the top, add a hiccup. Courts through three or do the hiccup again. Inhale, low to the right, low through the middle. Peel up to shoulder stand. Squeeze the legs and glutes up. Drop softly onto your left hip. Legs go low through the middle. Peel up to shoulder stand. Squeeze it up there. Drop softly onto the right hip. Legs go low through the middle, building momentum to squeeze it up to shoulder stand. And drop softly onto the left, low through the middle, peel up to shoulder stand, squeeze it up, and then straight down the middle you go for the jackknife. You don't want to do jackknife, put your hips on a ball, arms and legs up toward the ceiling, and do little corkscrews on your ball. Or if you don't have a ball, just put your legs up. Parallel feet, breathe in as you exhale. Shallow fold with the hip. Squeeze the legs and glutes up toward the ceiling and breathe. As you exhale, keep scooping. A shallow break at the hip brings you back down and down and to the mat. Do it again, inhale as you exhale. Up you go, press into your arms. Squeeze your legs and glutes to the ceiling, inhale. And exhale, shallow fold with the hip. A lot of arm work here. 
to get you down again. One more, inhale. As you exhale, press, squeeze, up, breathing. And then keep scooping as you drop. Feet are still together like one big leg to your start point. For scissors and bicycles, stay on a ball or a cushion if you need to. Or rock up, put your hips in your hands. Shoulder stand supported. All right, so you're in your core as good as you can. Your right leg drops a little over your head. Left leg stretches out in front of you a lot. And then squeeze your glutes back to the top. Let's change. Big scissors and then together. Remember, we're stretching the leg that goes away from your head. And then to the top. And big split and squeeze your glutes together. We'll do one more each way. Big scissors here. And then together one more time. Let's bicycle. You'll split, bend the knee, bicycle up, change. Split, bend, together. Remember, the glutes drive the legs. And up, and breathing, exhale to the top. We'll do one more each way. Split, bend, together. Last time, big split, bend, bicycle up. And then make your transition down either walking over or rolling down with the shoulder bridge. Feet and knees together, hips high, press into your arms and extend your right leg knee to knee. Let's go, up and down, demi point lift, exhale lower, feeling the work in your standing leg, tone in your arms, you're breathing, exhaling, take it up and down, two more like this, hips stable, last time, hold it at the top, pulse your left glute, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hold. Bend your knee, foot to the floor. Change sides, hips high, check your connections. Let's go up and down. Demi point, lift, flex it down. Breathing, exhale. Hips are stable in space. Up and down, feel the work in your standing leg. And there's tone in your arms. Two more, like this. And last time, hold it at the top. Pulse your right glute, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and hold. Bend your knee, foot to the floor. Back the heels in towards your glutes. Pop them up. Arms go behind you on the floor. Breathe. And as you exhale, let's slowly take each millimeter of your spine. Down, down, tucking the pelvis a little to get through each lumbar. Rolling through to neutral. And when you're down, work your feet away from the glutes, a little arms to your sides. Cross your right ankle on your left knee, palm to the inner thigh, breathe. As you exhale, press the thigh away from you. Breathe in again as you exhale, reach through, pull your left thigh in and stretch your right glute. Breathe here as you exhale, rock over to the left. Breathing into your stretch here. The sacrum goes flat. Foot to the mat, uncross, change sides. Left palm to the inner thigh, breathe. As you exhale, press the leg open. Breathe here as you exhale, reach through, pull your right thigh in. Inhale and as you exhale, rock over to your right. Then the sacrum goes flat. Foot to the mat, uncross, pull both knees in. Legs go to the ceiling, touch behind them, head up and rock yourself up to seated. Uh, this is the neck pull, so you'll either take uh, your red ball or uh, bunch up a cushion back there so that you, you can roll into something that's pretty stable. All right, move curves out of the way, come into your core and touch your shoulders. Think long through your spine. Breathe in and as you exhale, drop your chin. Then start to scoop deeply so that you can articulate tightly towards your knees. At your low point, flex your feet. Slowly undulate the spine out to a diagonal, finishing at your head. Then hinge back, demi point, look up, breathe. As you exhale, only the pelvis tucks, not your chin, and take this to your bowl or your cushion. Look at the ceiling. Then look at your feet. Abs kick in to get you up, so we're not going to pull up with your throat. 
and then come forward. Roll those shoulders down and back. Flex your feet as you undulate out. And finishing at your head. Take your time there. Hinge back, look up, Jimmy Point, breathe as you exhale, scoop and tuck the pelvis, and take this to your ball or your cushion. Again, head comes up, looks at the feet, abs kick in, shoulders and elbows uninvolved, and forward. Flex, undulate out, take your time, your spine really likes this, maybe your head doesn't. And then hinge back, Jimmy Point, look up, breathe. Scoop and tuck the pelvis only and take this to your ball. And we'll do one more. Head comes up, abs kick in, come forward. Flex your feet as you undulate the spine out. Think about it. Sequencing out to the back of your head, up to a flat back and hold. Then let's release that, move your ball out of the way or your cushion. And into a wide angle for the stall. If you know that you need to sit on a cushion or a wedge, if you have one, please do that so that you can keep your spine erect. You're in your core and in neutral spine. Float your arms up to mimic the legs. Breathe in, and as you exhale, let's rotate to your right. Reach across, and without collapsing the spine, you're going to take this into a stall. Turn and look at your back hand if you wish. Breathe here. We're just going to stretch for a moment. Then scoop your belly, lift up to face your right. Drop your shoulders first, and then let your waist rotate you through the middle. Reach across and saw down and stretch to your left. So you're breathing. Sit bones planted equally. Spine is as long as possible in a spiral. Scoop and lift to face your left. Through the middle you go, lap to lap, oblique to oblique, think long spine here, and so down to your right. Stretch, breathe, maybe you got a little lower this time. Scoop and lift your face, your right. Shoulders down, take it through the middle, long straight axis of your spine, and so down to the left. Stretch, breathe. Scoop and lift your face, your left. Through the middle you go, shoulders down, and saw to the right. And we'll do one more. Lift to face your right. Through the middle you go. And saw down to the left. Scoop and lift to face your left. Back to the middle. The arms come down. Good. Move to the left border of your mat. And go long through your spine. Breathe in as you exhale. Let's drop it. All the way onto the border, your right arm goes over your head. Flip yourself over onto your tummy for the swan, single, and double leg kick series. So your arms are in an L, L bracket shape with your head in the middle. Squeeze your rhomboids, press your forearms into the mat. And then here we go, press a little harder into the forearms to lift the sternum and head. And begin to straighten the elbows very slowly, keeping the work situated behind, between, and under your shoulders and the triceps. When you're up in your baby cobra, look out in front of you, breathe. As you exhale, let's slowly put this down again. Feeling the backs of the shoulders, the triceps working all the way down. Squeeze your glutes, scoop tight the feet and legs, float up. The feet go down with control. Press into your arms and up you go again. Feeling each rib leave the mat in sequence. Shoulders stay down. Look out in front of you. Breathe. As you exhale, let's slowly take this down again. Feeling lats, triceps. Head down. Squeeze your glutes. Scoop tight. Feet and legs up. Feet go down. Press into your arms. Take this up to the top. You can continue prepping slowly or add momentum to that. You'll float and catch, exhale down, inhale up. And you feel your triceps each time you catch. And up, exhale down, shoulders stay down, float and catch. Two more, last time. Hips fold back and rest on the heels for a moment and breathe, bending the spine the other way. Let's walk out onto your elbows. Belly is up off the mat. Your shoulders are down and back. 
You have a neutral feeling spine from the back of your head to the backs of the knees. With a single leg kick, let's squeeze the back of your right inner outer thigh glute hamstring three times. Put it down, change. Squeeze the back of your left three times. Put it down, change. You're breathing normally and then put that one down. Glute, inner, outer, thigh, hamstring at work. At a point, flex, point, and down. Three distinct squeezes there right at the top. Point, flex, point, and down. Breathe and check your form here, no humpy backs. And scoop tight, and then put it down. Point, flex, point, and down. Squeeze, 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 and down. Last time, good. Drop it to the mat. Put your left cheek on the floor. Cross your palms on your sacrum bones. Squeeze the rhomboids to angle the elbows up. Let's go for the double leg kick. Here we go. Squeeze the backs of both legs and glutes three times. Feet down, sternum comes up. Look down as you pump straight arms to the ceiling three times. Recross right cheek down and squeeze three times. Feet down, sternum up, pump. Three times, recross left cheek and nail it. Three times, heels to glutes. Scoop tight and then pump. Three times to the ceiling, recross right cheek, squeeze. Backs of the legs and glutes here. Feet down, sternum up, pump. Three times, recross left cheek. Get a stretch in the fronts of your quads and hip flexors here. Feet down, scoop it, pump. Three times, one more, right cheek and nail it. Three times here. Feet down, sternum up, pump three times and hold. In toward each other three times, hold in. Lace your fingers, stretch your arms and legs up and breathe. And then release it all. Palms go under the shoulders, lift. And press the hips back to the heels in a rest pose. Breathing into your back. Good, let's walk it out onto your left sides. Lined up at the back edge of your mat. You're in a long straight line. You can be up on the elbow, of course, or down on your bicep if you prefer an advanced head hold. It's like this, all right? Elaine, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> Top leg lifts. To hip height, flex your foot. Let's go forward and exhale, squeeze back. And flex forward, demi, point back. You're breathing and exhaling, squeezing. Your torso is super stable here. That's your core working. As the leg goes forward and squeeze back with the glute. One more. And then hold leg over leg. Leg goes up and squeezes down. Check the tone under your low shoulder here. Check your core. Demi point, squeeze down with the flex. Lift, resist down with the inner thigh. Up and down, two more like this, and down, and last time, hold it at the top. Pulse up from your highest point, little lifts here, up, up, and then hold at the top. Circle your ankle, breathing, then go the other way a few times, exhaling. Hold a flex, drop to hip height, squeeze it in, squeeze it out. Pull something heavy to you, push it away. You're breathing, exhaling, resist in, resist out. Two more, like this, and last time, a donkey kick. Rotate down, rotate, kick high. Touch, rotate, kick. Clean rotations in your hip joint, and then you squeeze a kick out right there. And pelvis stays stable, kick. Two more like this and kick last time, kick and hold, then pull in, press it out. Knee foot hip open to the ceiling as you bend and push and breathe, exhale, squeeze your glutes so you don't roll back. Two more and press last time, parallel hip height, let's go, circle. Circle up from your hip height, the size of those little red overalls. You're breathing, torso is stable. And then flex your foot, circle back. Feeling the outer glute, outer thigh working, you're breathing, exhaling, and finally down. Drop to your bicep, having your cushion or your ball handy for some inner thigh work. Drape the top knee over your cushion or ball. Align your hips. Top arm goes over your ear if you like that, and the bottom leg comes up. Check your core and go. Up 
and almost down. Squeeze your glute and inner thigh together as you lift. Exhale, squeeze. And up and down. There's tone around your waist. Go for three and down. Couple more. Up and then last time, hold it at the top. Pulse from your highest point. Up, up, up. And then hold at the top. Demi point and flex the foot. The leg is as high as it will go as you point. Flex and then hold the flex, kick back. Heel the glute, extend, exhale, squeeze the back of the leg right there. Keep the leg high so you feel your inner thigh. Bam, and push two more. And last time, straight leg goes forward over the bottom foot. Demi point, sweep back with your glute. Check the alignment of your hips forward and the tone around your waist back. Leg stays high so you feel your inner thigh. And we'll do one more forward, back and hold, lift the leg higher, and circle right at the top. Little circles here, breathing, finishing strong. Flex your foot, circle back, circle, 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 and then down. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Come up to seated for the mermaid. Feet swept to your right. Clasp your ankle and the left arm goes up, breathe. As you exhale, over you go, over your right foot. Inhale through the middle and palm and elbow drop and stretch the top arm over your ear, breathing into that. Bottom palm flips, top arm ceiling, core through the middle. Let's twist. Do it again, inhale through the middle, palm and elbow drop, stretch, reaching from hip to fingertip here. Bottom palm flips, top arm ceiling core through the middle. Let's twist. One more. Inhale here. Exhale over, stretch it out. Then a slow quarter turn toward the floor, reaching from hip to fingertip. Inhale through the middle and exhale open out to the ceiling. Stretch your pectoral. Arm to the ceiling. Bottom palm flips. Scoop it through the middle. Let's twist and profile. Release that for the can-can. Orient however you wish. You can be on your elbows to modify, but your spine is straight. Knees up, check your core, and let's go to your right and kick a little half step back and kick through the middle and kick. You're breathing here. Exhale, kick high through the middle and kick. Little half step back and kick. Get that snaky little rotation through your waist, shoulder stable and through the middle and kick one more each way. Last time, roll up onto your right side. Lined up at the back edge of your mat. Come into your favorite head hold. That can be uh, the one I'm showing, up on your elbow, or if you need to be down on your bicep, that's fine. Saluting or not. Top leg lifts, check your core, and let's go. Forward, exhale, squeeze back with your glutes. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Check your core here to keep your torso from responding to what that leg is doing and counterweighting. Squeeze back. The leg stays at a stable height, forward and back. We'll do a couple more. Exhale, back. Last time. And leg over leg. Leg goes up and squeezes down. Your outer thigh works, then your inner thigh works. Check the tone under your low shoulder. Check your core here, scoop tight. You're breathing, exhaling. Outer thigh, squeeze your inner thigh. Two more, like this, and last time, hold it at the top. Pulse up from your highest point here. Up, up, and then hold at the top. Circle your ankle, you're breathing, rotating the ankle. Go the other way a few times, exhaling. And then hold a flex, drop to hip height. Squeeze it in, squeeze it out. Pull something heavy to you, push it away. You're contracting and stretching out. Inhale, exhaling out, breathing. And push, couple more, and press. Last time, a donkey kick. Rotate down, rotate, kick high. Remember, you're leading with your hip joint, not your foot. Touch, rotate, kick. You're breathing and kick. Check the tone under your low shoulder. Pelvis is stable. Two more. 
and last time, kick and hold. Pull in, press out, heel over heel, knee, foot, heel, open to the ceiling as you bend and push and squeeze your glutes so you don't roll back. You're breathing, exhaling, two more. And press, last time, out and hold at hip height parallel. And then circle. Circle up from your hip height, breathing. Remember your torso is stable. A lot of tone everywhere. And then flex your foot. Let's circle the other way. Breathing, exhaling. Round and round you go, feeling your outer hip, outer glute. And then drop. Let's find your ball or your cushion. Come down to your bicep and drape your top knee over. Rest the foot on the floor. Extend your low leg out. Check the alignment of your hips. Tone around the waist, top arm over your ear if you like that. And the bottom leg comes up. Let's go. Up and almost down. Squeeze and down. You feel glued and inner thigh work together as you lift. Exhale up. You're breathing and down. Squeeze. Two more. Up and last time. Then hold it at the top. Pulse up from your highest point. Up. Squeeze. Up. Up and then hold at the top. Denny point and flex the foot. The leg is as high as it will go as you point and flex. Couple of more. And last time, hold the flex. Kick back, heel to glute, extend. Exhale, squeeze and extend. You hold the leg high so you feel your in thigh the whole time. Contract, stretch out. Two more, like this. And last time, straight leg goes forward over the bottom foot. Demi point, use your glute to sweep it back. The leg is hovering at a very stable and high level here. And you feel your inner thigh and then the back of the leg and the glute. Inhale forward and exhale back. We'll do one more forward, then back and hold. Lift the leg higher and circle right at the top, little circles. Check the alignment of your hips and the tone around the waist. You're breathing and finishing strong here. Flex your foot, circle back. Circle, 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 and then down. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Come up to seated for the mermaid. Feet swept off to your left. Clasp your ankle. Your right arm goes up, breathe. As you exhale, over the foot you go. Through the middle, palm and elbow drop, and stretch it out over your ear, breathing a strong hip to fingertip stretch. Bottom palm flips, top arm ceiling, core through the middle. Let's twist. Through the middle you go, inhale, palm and elbow down, stretch it out, breathing. Bottom palm flips, top arm ceiling, feel the heaviness of your torso as you go through the middle in your core. And twist, and we'll do one more. Inhale here, exhale over, breathe, and then a slow quarter turn toward the floor, reaching from hip to fingertip. Let's inhale through the middle, then open out to the ceiling, stretch your pec arm. Arm to the ceiling, faces forward, bottom palm flips, scoop tight through the middle. Let's twist and profile. Release that for the hip circles. You can be on your elbows to modify, of course. Otherwise, spine is straight, legs in a diamond. Feet are at hip uh, head height to start. Let's make a little circle to your right. Down and around, take your time to the top. Inhale, left, exhale, down and around and up. You feel the work travel around your abs. Your spine is nice and long. And breathing left. Scoop tight. Soften the knees out more if all you feel are quads. To your right, exhale down and around and up. We'll do one more left. Through the middle, low to the top. And then click all the way to the floor. And stretch it out over your legs. Breathing into it. Let's stick it up to a flat back. Move your curves out of the way for the spine twist. Touch your shoulders, check your core, drop your shoulders really low with the elbows. And go as far around to the right as you can go by yourself, just with your lats and obliques and hold. 
Go a little deeper and hold. Through the middle breathing, and let's take it as far around to the left as you can go and hold. And then a little deeper, hold. Through the middle you go breathing, feel that till head oblique till oblique, pause and pulse, not bounce. Through the middle, scoop tight and pause and pulse. Through the middle, think long spine here, hop, hop, inhale through the middle and two L's with the arms, pull them back, pause and pulse, long straight axis of your spine, scoop tight and pulse. Through the middle, through the middle, pause and deeper, touch behind your ears. Through the middle, lead with lats and obliques. A big V over the head, but drop the shoulders. Pause and pulse. Last time. Back to the center and round out over the legs, breathing into your back. Stack it up to a flat back. It's teaser time. Work from a ball or a cushion behind you if you need to. You can even do one leg at a time if you prefer. Or take a break. You're in Pilates V, arms to the ceiling. Breathe and float your head and feet up at the same time, and then everything floats up to teaser. You can be in a long diamond shape, but not parallel. Breathe and the arms go up. As you exhale, control this slow, steady, easy to the floor. Your head and feet hit at the same time. Fingers to the ceiling. Head and feet float up. As you exhale, abs get you up, up, up. Remember you're turned out. Arms go up and then as you drop back down and down in your core, controlling it all the way to the floor. We'll do one more. Head and feet up, breathe. As you exhale, up, up, up you go. Let's add a little row here and push. Bend your knees, pull back with your arms. Inhale, exhale, two more. And push, last time. Good, arms go up, stay turned out, and down, down, and down you go. Pull your knees in towards your chest, rock and roll side to side. Then shimmy on over to the left border of your mat, and arm over your head, flip yourself over. Let's do a little session of swimming and grasshopper. So your forehead is down, arms and legs extended out. Shoulders are down and back, and check your core. Breathe in, and as you exhale, float your right arm and left leg up. Your two um, hip bones are equally on the floor with your pubic bone. And then put that set down and change. Left arm, right leg. Feel your glute holding the leg up there. And then put that set down. Right arm, left leg up. Join it with the other pair. Forehead comes off, look down and flutter kick, alternating legs and arms. You're breathing as you kick, 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 kick. You feel glutes, inner outer thighs, hamstrings working, big back muscles, little back muscles. Breathing, kick, 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 kick. Last set, kick, 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 kick. Head down, open palms under your thighs. Squeeze your rhomboids to angle the elbows up. Pilates V, squeeze your glutes, lift it up, lift your head, look down, and click your heels together like a grasshopper. Click, 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 click. You feel glutes, inner outer thighs, hamstrings at work, big back muscles, little back muscles, breathing and scooping. Click, 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 click. Last little set. Click, 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 and click, click. Head down, feet down. Palms under your shoulders, lift. Press the hips back to the heels in a rest pose. Breathing into your back. Let's walk out to the end of your mat, right out to the ends, and put your fingertips there. Shoulder width apart. Scoop tight, roll your shoulders down and back. Extend your right leg, dig your toe in, drop your knee. Left leg extends out behind, toe down, knee down, hips forward a little, shoulders over the wrist, squeeze your glutes. Simply straighten your legs for the leg pull. Your right leg lifts, 
Flex, point your left foot to center and down change. Flex, point, center, and down change. The glute holds the leg up there, not your foot. Scoop tight. Feel the tone between the shoulders. No humpy bats here. Down one more each way. And put it down last time. Flex, point, center, foot down, knees down. Hips drop to the heels. Roll out what you need to. Let's walk out onto your left side. Line up at the back edge of the mat for a visual neutral for the side bend. A lot of tone under your left shoulder. Let's go, top foot turns. Squeeze your glutes, breathe as you exhale, zip into a side plank. Arm and waist go up in a banana and banana down. Work from your obliques here, glutes active. Banana up, banana down. A lot of tone under that low shoulder and banana down. We'll go for one more, up, and then banana down. Sit with control, sit up and roll out what you need to. Let's flip it to the other side. Lined up again at the back edge of your mat for a visual neutral. A lot of tone under your right shoulder, and let's go. Top foot turns, breathe as you exhale. Squeeze your glutes, zip the legs into a side plank. Arm and waist up in a banana. Banana down. Exhale up. And inhale down. So you're working from obliques here. Glutes are squeezing the whole time down. One more, banana up. Banana down and sit with control. Sit up and roll out what you need to again. Let's do a flying teaser, the boomerang. Cross your right ankle on top of your left. Make sure the heels are down at the very end of your mat. You're in your core, you're breathing, and then roll back. Legs over, change once. Roll up to teaser. Remember you're turned out, knees can be soft. Arms go behind you, stretch your legs, drop, touch your feet. Inhale, up, flat back. Exhale, roll back, change ankles. Roll up to teaser, scoop tight. Turn out, arms behind, stretch, drop, and touch your feet. Again, flat back, roll back, change ankles. Up to teaser you go, nail it. Arms go behind you, stretch drop and touch. We'll do one more. Flat back, roll back, change ankles, roll up to teaser, arms go behind you, stretch, drop, and touch. Then let's pull it in for the seal. One more last rolling and grasp the lowest part of the shins. Float the legs up or feet up to knee and shoulder height. Look at your navel and let's go. Click three times. Roll back and click three more. Exhale up and click three times. Roll back, click, click, click. Exhale up and stay in your structure. Don't let your head hit, just look at your navel. And click three times. Inhale back, click, click, click. Exhale up and click three times. Couple more full ones. Click, 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 exhale up, and click three times, one more. Breathe back, exhale up, roll back, and come up to standing, modify as you need to. Let's take a little stretch. Find your wide angle, and here we go. Inhale, lean to your right. Exhale, dive to the left. Reach, stretch up and out of the hip. Arm goes behind you and turn and look at your left foot. So you're breathing, opening the chest. Face forward, arm to the ceiling, breathe. And then up, around, over, down below. And center, soften the knees. Dangle your arms, sway your torso. Shake and or nod your head. Just release here for a moment. Put your palms on your thighs, scoop and tuck, and we'll take it up and into the star again. This time, lean to your left. 
Exhale, then dive to the right. Reach, stretch up and down the hip. Arm goes behind you and turn and look at your right foot and breathe. Face goes forward, arm to the ceiling, inhale, reach up, out, over down the low and center, and then soften the knees and dangle, sway, nod, shake your head, just loosen up a moment, breathing. Then put your palms on your thighs, scoop and tuck, take it up, and let's put this into your whole brain so that we can put all this information into your muscle and cerebral memory for the next time we meet and um, just enjoy the class, enjoy the benefits. It's my pleasure to teach you. Uncross, let's lock this in. Look straight ahead of you, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move about just a little bit, and there's your class today.